everyone i'm live i think um if you guys can't hear me just let me know but today i thought i'd just do a quick video to um show you guys um, and talk about what types of um, plans I have for this coming December daily. Um, so, hi everyone! Oh, I can see people! Um, you guys can hear me, right? Oh, hi Amy! Hi! Um, that's great! Okay, so um, if I haven't introduced myself to you guys yet, um, I'm Shu Wen, uh, aka Shu Puff Creations. And I like to craft, and I like to bake, and I like music, and I like everything crafting. But I've been really into scrapbooking lately, so um, thanks for joining me on my journey. Um, I am from Alberta, Canada, and I'm a full-time pharmacist at the hospital here. So that's been fun, um, trying to fit in scrapbooking to um, my full-time job. Um, and I thought I'd talk about what I did last year for December Daily first, and then we'll talk about what I'm planning on doing for this year. So this is what I did last year. <laughs> um, this is, hi, I'm Nuana. Um, these are Life Crafted albums, and I have three of them, and they are so chunky. So if, if you guys aren't familiar with the Life Crafted albums, they're um, like the pages are about four by eight. So the same size as a traveler's notebook um, and I had to fit in three albums to be able to get all 31 days of December in last year so um, I'm definitely not doing life crafted albums this year because I feel like if you have um, seen any of my other pages um, I always like to do interactive pages and so that's why like that's where all this bulk comes from anyways so um, I do have a highlight um, section in my Instagram for most of the pages that I shared last year. Um, so um, you can go check those out. And someone has uh, kindly mentioned that I do have December daily process videos on YouTube as well. Um, oh, and hi, hi, Rachel. Thanks for popping in and, and saying hi. Yes, I will definitely try to save this. This is the first time I've done a live. So I like hopefully this will capture properly um but yes thanks thanks so much for saying hi um so yes i do have process videos for some of my pages not all of them so um last year i did like a 12 days of interactive december dailies video series um and i ended up doing more than 12 days because some of my like most of my pages ended up being interactive so um just an FYI on that. I do have a playlist on that um, up on my YouTube channel. Um, and some of the lighting in those videos was a bit questionable because I was um, just filming during um, like, like on my kitchen table with like really bad lighting. So um, hopefully the lighting this year is a bit better. I'm hoping that I've improved over the year. Um, hi, everyone. Um, and then I also wanted to mention that last year I did not do foundation pages. I um, tend to do my pages, I like to scrapbook kind of in the moment, and um, my pages are based on what the photos of the day look like. So um, the orientation of the photos, like whether they're landscape or their portrait, um, and also how many photos um, really dictates the style of my page. So I find it really hard to make foundation pages. Um, so I probably won't be doing those this year either. Um, and I, I do like to kind of keep up with my pages every day, um, or at least try to. Last year I did well up until I think the second week, and then I started getting behind. Um, and that's perfectly fine with me. I did finish all of my albums, um, and I went through to December 31st. Um, and I did finish all of my pages by mid-January, I think. So um, I'm hoping that this year I'll have all of my pages done by the end of January as well. So um, this year, my uh, the main question that I got for this year is what size I'll be doing um, for my albums. And I haven't 100% decided yet. And I, I kind of have an idea, but I don't want to fully commit yet. So um, like I said, totally not doing 
life crafted albums again. I need something bigger so that I don't have 10 albums for this year's December daily. Um, so I was dead set on getting the six by eight albums, but then I saw the 10 by eight and specifically, um, I was really interested in that star one, um, with the quote on it from the night before Christmas that, um, Ali shared on the December daily stories. Um, I just, I'm in, so in love with that one so um i might i might just ch change to 10 by 8. um the only concern i have that one the main concern i made like a whole list of pros and cons that i will share at some point in time um, i just don't want to give too much away because um you guys haven't seen all the different albums yet so um at some point in time i will share that list and my main concern is that the pictures that I take are like okay, but they're not like really, really good. So like if I wanted a full 10 by 8 um, photo, it like I feel like it has to be really good. So I'm just I'm just holding back on that. But um Kath duh, sorry, I I don't know your name. Um it should be like if you go to the December daily Instagram page, like their main Instagram page, it's like um, in their highlights and it's the first one um, it's their sneaks so that that one's the one that I have my eye on so I'm thinking I'll probably end up picking up that one and an extra one just in case um, it gets too full I'm just a bit scared because of all the interactive things but um, yeah leaning towards the 10 by 8 it is a bit scary but I'm I'm, I'm excited because the album is so cute. No problem, Kathy. Um, so for my videos, I am going to continue my 12 days of interactive December dailies. Um, it may be more than 12 days. Hopefully it won't be less because I really love interactive pages and I will still be planning on um, doing the days as the days go by and if I fall behind, then I'm not going to stress out too much about that. Um, I know last year, one of the reasons why I was able to keep up um, really consistently was because COVID made it so that we didn't have events or anything to go to. So um, this year, because we're going to have parties and things, hopefully, hopefully, um, I might not be as caught up as I was last year, but hopefully I'll still be able to get some of the pages done in the moment. And um, my plan is to um, finish all of my pages by the end of January. So hopefully that will be good. Um, what else can I tell you guys? Um, oh, so Ali Edwards has been sharing some sneak peeks of this year's December Daily products on her um, December Daily Instagram page. So I've been kind of saving those sneaks as they've been coming up and coming up with some ideas on how to use those products. So I do have a highlights in Instagram as well, if you're interested in checking that out. And yes, huge albums. Um, Six by eight is the largest album I've ever tried. Like I've never even tried 12 by 12 scrapbooking. So. This is definitely a bit of an adventure for me and something different. <laughs> so we'll, we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. But yes, I'm like 75% sure that I'm going with the, the 10 by 8. <laughs> um, what other questions do you guys have for me? Thanks so much for joining in. This is so fun. <laughs> and I'm, I'm so nervous. I'm kind of like sweating right now. <laughs> um. Oh, and um, make sure you check out all the other creative team members projects as well. Um, December Daily has a post with all of their names and they've been um, introducing one new member each day of the week. So that's been really exciting to see their past projects. Um, and is anyone thinking like, thanks, Crystal. <laughs> thanks for tuning in as well. Um, is anyone here thinking that they're not doing December Daily this year or are you guys all in the December Daily boat? Because I was, so last year was my first year doing December Daily actually and I was this close to not doing it. Um, and the reason why was because um, in the fall I had applied for a design team and 
not Allie's, and gotten turned down. And so it was like kind of a bit soul crushing for me at the time. And like I lost my crafty mojo for a month after that. And so that was like October, November. And so going into December daily, I actually didn't know if I was going to do it. But what drew me in was like wanting to document the moments of December and intentionally creating, uh, because last year was a bit of a hard year with COVID. I wanted to intentionally look for moments that were magical um, to celebrate um, and to create those moments for myself and my loved ones around me. Um, so, and, and also I was really roped in by um, Crystal's videos actually, um, just watching all of her um, excitement about December Daily and her past videos that like really inspired me to join in. So thanks Crystal if you're still there. Um, I think yes for December Daily this year. It's not just a project, it's a lifestyle. Yeah, yeah, Caleb, I, I agree. I, I, I don't think I could stop now if I tried. Diane for the first time too. That would be great. The passions. Oh, yeah. Thank you for all your comments. Graphic 45 and Elizabeth Craft Signs. Ooh, I haven't seen Graphic 45's papers yet, but they're always so nice and so like intricate. I have the opportunity to intentionally look for moments of joy. Yeah. Thank you, Crystal. Okay. Um, how long is that? That was only 12 minutes. I don't, I don't know if I have anything else to say. <laughs> I'm kind of like an intro, I'm an extroverted introvert. So I, I, I kind of don't like, I don't really talk this much a lot of the time. I feel like I'm like talking to myself. Did a lot of watching last year. Yes. Yes, definitely. Kathy, you should definitely participate. Um, even if it's something small, like, so a lot of my pages are um, interactive and I don't really do, I do some simple pages. I, I have some simple pages in here, but like when I, when I have a bad day, I just like, instead of doing like a simple page that day, I just like forget about the day. And then the next day I'll move back to that day and then do an interactive one, I think is what I did mostly for um, last year. What size? Um, I am 75% leaning towards a 10 by 8. Not not written in stone though. <laughs> but I figured like the fact that I was dead set on doing a 6 by 8 prior to seeing these albums and the fact that I'm debating it this much means that I want to do a 10 by 8, right? Is that how you guys feel? <laughs> Back me up on this. <laughs> Yeah, so so probably a 10 by 8, but I'm still thinking about it and considering it. I think the fact that um, I can integrate all the different sizes together would be really fun. And plus, the we've seen all of Allie's products. She, um, Katie was kind enough to spend two hours with us going through all the products. And yes, it took two hours. <laughs> and I stayed throughout the whole thing and drooled over all the products throughout the whole thing. Um, but they do have some products that are designed more towards the 10 by 8. I will not say any more because it hasn't been revealed yet. But um, yes, they did confirm that they have new page protectors. And then there's like a couple of other, other things that might be 10 by 8. So um, I think it would be, I think it, it would be like exciting to try this new size. So yes. Hi, Josie. Hi. Um, I'm just finishing up, actually. So um, I'm going to try to stop this. Yes, Caleb, it was it was wonderful just having two hours to go through all these products. And Katie, like, told us, like, what sizes things are in the middle of the video. Like, we could stop her and ask her what sizes they were um, and let us ooh and ah about all these different things. So it was it was really exciting. But yes, I will try to end this video and hopefully you guys will be able to watch it on the replay and I will see you soon. Bye.
oh my gosh, how do I do this? How do I do this? Yes, and video.